Hey everyone, Wes here. Welcome back to the channel. And after two years, we finally have information and the actual details about the Nintendo Switch Online services. So first of all, it launches in September and it says, Nintendo Switch Online is a paid service that gives members access to online play and compatible games, a selection of NES games, extra features for the Nintendo Switch smartphone app, and more. So guys, this is what we've been asking for. We want to know information about it. And we finally got it. So first of all, launches in September. And here are the features. So the first feature is online play. So no more free online. That should mean that the servers and the server issues and the crashes and everything that we got before should not happen anymore. Uh, so it says battle it out or cooperate with friends around the world with compatible games like Splatoon 2, ARMS, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Tennis, Aces, Sushi Striker, and every other online game. Um, we got Super Smash Bros. Is going to be happening soon. So that's definitely a game that's going to be available on the Nintendo Switch Online service. Okay, so the next thing is the Nintendo Entertainment System Online. So that means enjoy 20 NES games with added online play for the first time ever and more games added regularly. So let's go ahead and look at this page right here. The Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES games, anytime, anywhere. Enjoy a selection of games. Okay, we don't have to read that. So the service will launch with 20 games with new games added regularly, launch titles included. So we have soccer, we have balloon fight, we have tennis, we have ice climber, we have Donkey Kong, we have Dr. Mario, we have Mario Bros, Legend of Zelda, uh, Super Mario Bros, and Super Mario Bros 3. Uh, and then it says play together when you're part. So basically it's announcing that there's online play for the two player games. It's lit. Um, I'm, I'm kind of upset that they only added NES games at the start, but we got to start somewhere and I'm, I'm glad that this is where we're starting. We might as well just get this knocked out. Uh, hopefully next, next is going to be SNES and then so on and so forth. So we see that. And then we have the, oh my God, guys, save data cloud backup. I told you guys months ago, months ago, I said, if there is not save data support for or cloud backups within e3 like before e3 it's gonna be bad for nintendo because the hack just came out and hackers are gonna do it anyway so they finally did it save your data online for easy access details about this feature will be available before the paid service launches in september so it's confirmed cloud saves are here they're happening september 2018 we finally have cloud saves so hopefully none of your nintendo switches break in between now and september if it does then big rips in the chat because that sucks. <laughs> okay, then we got enhance your, you know, get or your experience for the Nintendo Switch online app. That's for a lot of parents and stuff. We'll, we'll go ahead and look at it. Hopefully they fix the Nintendo Switch online app. It's been it's been pretty trash. I don't really like it. So special features for compatible games. You got online lounge, and that's about it. So the Nintendo Switch online app is essentially just for party chat. That's what it is. It's their party chat op app. Uh, and then it says special offers. Uh, stay tuned for news on special deals and offers for members. So guys, this is the start of something great. Um, virtual consoles happening. We see it here with the NES. It's starting. I, I really hope E3, we get a lot more information, but this is a good start. Nintendo is slowly moving into the civilized society with the save, uh, the, with, the, with cloud saves. They're, they're slowly moving in. Um, I, like I said, I want to see NES support for, uh, you know, the, the NES virtual console. I'd like to, you know, eventually expand on that. If they could have online for almost everything that they do. So they have the online for, uh, for NES. If they can do online for SNES and so on and so forth, that'd be great. Okay. So now here comes the bread and butter. This is the pricing. This is the, this is the part that, that we really want to see. Um, so individual membership for one month is $3.99. For three months, $7.99. For 12 months, it is $19.99. And then for the family membership, it is $34.99. So most likely what I'll do is just get the family membership or even the individual for $19.99. But uh, it's it's a good price. You know, if you look at Xbox Live, they, they charge you $60 a year. Nintendo is only charging you $19. But I really hope the NES titles and the, the launch titles that they supposedly said we're going to get with the subscription is going to be worth it. And all I got to say is if there is any network issues, whenever I have this service, I'm going to be a very upset customer and I Nintendo don't, don't none of, none of this server crashing whenever games come out. <laughs> uh, 
unless it's Super Smash Brothers, then then that's fine. But like for regular launches, there there should not be any server issues ever. I don't want to have to play Splatoon and get server errors every like five minutes. It's not cool, um, and it shouldn't happen ever. So for non subscriber okay, so this is this is basically going over everything. Looks pretty great. Um, share screenshots and social media. Okay, so that's going to be a part of online. Oh, wait, no. Okay, that's a part of both. I was about to say. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's look at the fact really quick, see if they have anything added, see if there's anything special uh, that we that they didn't talk about in the other thing. Okay, so how do I create a... Okay, so there's going to be family groups now. So, starting May 15th, 2018, it will be possible to create a Nintendo account family group via your Nintendo account settings. Up to eight Nintendo accounts, including child accounts, can be linked as a family group. So, does that mean that... If I buy Nintendo or if I buy Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on one account, then any person in my family could play Legend of Zelda or they can download it on the eShop for free. Is that what that means? Oh, I'd, I'd like to hear more information about that. Hopefully they detail it before the membership comes out. Uh, but if that's how it is, that that's really awesome. Hopefully, like if they can make it so games transfer and DLC transfers, that's that's a really good plus. But uh, let's see. Anything else we have? How do I set up and use save data? Okay, so that's going to be more details later. If I don't purchase Nintendo Online membership, will my Nintendo Switch system have any online features? Yes, online features including the Nintendo eShop, friend registration and management, the sharing of screenshots over social media or social networks, uh, Nintendo Switch parental control system and software updates, and the Nintendo Switch news will not be affected by or by the launch of the Nintendo Switch Online services. Okay, that's cool. So this is basically just a premium membership for the Nintendo Switch. It's kind of what I expected it to be. Um, I can't wait for this to happen. Uh, is the okay? So, Nintendo Switch is the only compatible for Nintendo Online. That's good. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm I'm excited for it to come out. We finally got more information. Hopefully, E3 we get a lot more information. Maybe we get some more stuff about Virtual Console. Maybe they're gonna even add some launch titles. Maybe maybe a free indie game that they've been releasing like crazy. Maybe that'll come in the online services. But I'm not really sure. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you thought down below. Are you excited for Nintendo Online Services? Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to spend the money? I mean, at the end of the day, it costs. So uh, yeah, let me know down below. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. And until next time, this has been Wes, and I'll talk to you guys next time.